When did you start thinking about this for the first time? Well, I think I was 15 and I saw a movie on TV. Uh, it was about a girl who sold herself for one million a night. Indecent proposal. proposal, yes. Yes, that's it. And I thought that, hmm, maybe I can do this too with my virginity. And I looked it up on the internet and I saw very, very many girls that sold themselves for 3.5 millions or more. But what, why would you want to do that? Because as I said in the intro there, a lot of people, um, virginity is something very special to them, something that, as I said, was to be shared between somebody you trust and that you, you love very much. Why would you want to sell something so precious? You're right, but, you know, many girls sold their virginity and after that, maybe after many years, they break up with the guy, you know, and it's not worth it. So I have a really good cause. I need the money to study abroad because I want to go to the Oxford University to study marketing and business. Plus, I live in a very poor country and I need to help my parents. So I need to buy them a home. You know, after that, after I graduate, I know I want to start my own business. What about health and safety? I mean, you, you've had to be tested to make sure that you uh, are a, a yes, virgin. Yes, I but were, uh, I was tested before. Yeah, and medically after, examined. Yes, and after the buyer wins the bidding, uh, I will go and test again in this, in his country. But what about him? Will you test him? Test him. For Why? health, safety? Oh, what I, if he has an STD? I didn't what thought if he, about it. You haven't thought about that? I mean, that's quite well, Wouldn't that be the first thing you'd think about? Is whether or not yes, he, he probably ha will test him too. Probably. Have you just thought about this on the sofa now? I didn't thought about it. No, because in I don't case, know I've got to say to about you, sexual things. How much are you thinking about this? You're a virgin. You're not very. You're not sexually experienced. You haven't even thought about the fact that the guy could have an STD. <laughs> what are you doing? You're having ideas sitting on the sofa. Oh. What if you get pregnant? I will not. <laughs> I will take some pills before. Yeah. And oh, your, your, your parents drop you off at the airport mm, to yes, come here? Yes, yes. Yeah, they have is. no clue what you're doing? No. What did you tell them? I told them that I'm going for a um, model catwalk. So, so they, they, don't know, they don't know the whole reason you're doing this is to, is yes, to help them? Yes, I'm doing this for them, but they don't know. And if they knew what lengths you were going to to help them, do you think they'd try and stop you? Yes, of course. What would they say? What would your father say? My father is a very strict man, and I think that he wouldn't agree. It. I think he. Would. But what if this? What if this gets out? You're appearing on national television. Things I, go global. I know, but my parents will not find out, and if they will, at least I will give them what what they need, and that's all. So, do you think that you could say to your parents? Listen, I did this for you. You're being evicted in February. This is very noble of you, I and mean, I get that. I understand that totally. I mean, the, it's a big sacrifice to make for the well-being of your parents and for your future education. But will they accept that if you say to them, I did this for you? Well, if they don't find out, I will never tell them. Um, the, the other important thing to flag up here is that, as you said, you are doing this through an agency and you are hoping to get a million euros yes. for your virginity. How much are the agency taking of your money that you earn? Uh, we talked about it like a few months ago, but a few weeks ago we talked about it again and they will take only 20%. Because originally it was 50%. Yes. And what have you had any discussions with them about the safety aspects of what you're about to do? You, yeah. you say you will go to any man who's prepared to pay anywhere in Europe. Yes. Will you go on your own? Yes. I've got to say, I mean, I'm a father. I've got, I've got two girls who are not far off your age. I have to say to you now, I mean, I think the people saying this at home, are you out of your mind? You haven't thought about the health aspects? You haven't thought about the safety aspects? What are you thinking? I live in a world where I think that everything is OK and everything is right, so I don't... But everything isn't OK in the world and everything isn't right and there are very bad people out there. Well, I think that if you're going to pay that price, you will be a good man and 
not having oh, problems. God, I'm not so sure. I think you need somebody to, to support you through this. I really do, because I think you need to sit down and really, really think about the implications of what you're doing. I understand that this stems from a desperation that us sat here will just never, ever understand, thankfully, because I can't imagine why a beautiful young lady like you would put yourself through, through something like this. Um, as for other women, because like you said, you looked on this website and there were many girls yes. who have done this. Is this becoming an option? What would you say to young girls that are watching this now thinking, oh, well, I need to put myself through university. Would you suggest this as a, as a good way of doing that? If it's an emergency, like in my case, if it's a real emergency that you need those money quickly and it's no other way you can do it. Mm -hmm. I would say yes, unfortunately, but if it's not an emergency, then no. Thanks for watching. Click here for more this morning videos.